This is a Mammillaria cactus and it has tons of mealybugs. It is infected with mealybugs. I haven't been very good at watering um, or taking care of my cactus. I've had kind of a rough winter holiday season and as you can tell there's a lot of eggs, a lot of mealybugs everywhere. And the aerials, you can see them crawling around. It's not good. So I'm going to start inspecting the soil, start inspecting what's happening below the surface of the cactus. So let's take a look. So right here I am trying to wiggle the cactus out with some random gardening materials. Um, looking in the soil and it's not looking as if I see mealybugs at the moment. You know, I just see perlite and um, just some organic material and whatnot. So let's hope that no mealybugs, but it's to be determined because we need to search, we need to look through, we kind of need a poke and prod through the soil and I'm just hoping that I can save this cactus. I know like it's a long shot because these mealybugs like to hide and then multiply. So let's just take a look. So after inspecting, I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol 70%. And it's gonna be good to hopefully kill the mealybugs, you know, on the surface. I didn't really see any on the dirts or in the dirt. So what I'm going to do is I kind of came up with this system because there's a lot of mealybugs, so and I couldn't just pick them off. Usually I like to just pick them off if there's just like one or two. But I'm gonna put the cact I'm gonna hold the cactus and just drench the cactus in alcohol kind of an experiment um not sure if it's gonna work but let's try it you know I'm gonna pick off the old flowers and stuff like that um let's just hope I can save this cactus if not then you know you live and you learn I am going to be using some tweezers to pick off some of the dead mealybugs and yuckiness that I see. Uh, I'm going to try and pick off some of the flowers because I know that mealybugs like flowers. The more I look at this, the more I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe it's not mealybugs, they're cochineal bugs uh, um, kind of like a scale a cochineal scale that and they love they love cactus so I'm gonna squish it I'm gonna do the squish test and yeah I mean it doesn't look as red as mealybug blood does We're gonna take a look at my domino cactus I've had for a year. And I mean, overall it's done pretty good. It's been healthy. Um, it has bloomed several times last year, but there are mealybugs, of course, and I will show you where they are. Um, you can kind of see like the speckled spots the white ones and these are definitely mealybugs they're white I'm taking my tweezers and squishing them um, in between the areas that are hard to get to and also taking my q-tip and getting some alcohol in just isopropyl alcohol 70% and just gonna you know swab all of the spots that I think are infected with mealybug
So as I swab around, I noticed that towards the bottom of the cactus, it looks as if it was infected by some sort of scale. Um, I almost feel like how could this cactus be corking already? It's not that big of a cactus, but um, I'm just gonna scrub it. I'm gonna try my best. But, and, and I know that a Q-tip isn't the best to use, but I don't have any brushes, like any uh, paint brushes or anything like that. So I have seen succulent and cactus owners scrape off like remnants of scale or dead, you know, areas. So I decided to do that, not sure if it was the best thing to do, but I have seen it done before, so I decided to scrape it off as best as I could, the infected area. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure if this was the best idea we, to be found out soon enough, but... Um, I just thought, hey, it's coming off, so, but I also feel like I was scratching the cactus. I don't know, we'll see. So I had a bunch of cactus out in the fall. It was an unusual warm fall here in Reno, Nevada. And I thought, okay, well, it still has a drop, you know, below freezing, so I'll keep my cactus out. Uh, and that's what happened. Uh, rotted it just rotted I'm so grateful that I found out before spring I mean it's January now but of course we have some time just like what in the world I just for some reason I just thought hey it didn't look good but I thought maybe it's just dormant you know that's the first time I've had cactus basically over the winter well, some of these I've had, but my, the downfall of, I would say this winter or this, you know, when it started getting cold was that I left it outside for one night and it did so much damage. So please bring your cactus in, please. This little guy, this uh, chin cactus, or yeah, Gymnocalisium, did not do well from the get-go. Uh, I got it from a local store here, and uh, it had, you know, obviously some damage from, from some type of bug, not sure what it was, uh, scale, you know, probably, and I just was like, oh, I can save it, and I always think that about my plants. I can save them, but this one seemed like it kind of strange, right? So I started looking pretty closely at this cactus and it was rotting, okay? And it looks gross. So if you don't have a strong stomach, I wouldn't look. But um, no, no, I'm not saving this one. I didn't save the last one that we just looked at. Um, it's just weird. Now this beauty, my rainbow cactus, yeah, I thought it was doing good. I've had it for, you know, a year. And just like what happened to the last couple ones, I had them outside and what happened? Mealybugs. And I thought maybe that was the only thing that occurred with this cactus, but it seemed, it didn't seem right. So I started poking it start looking around um, and let's just take a look yeah 
and long behold I stick my tweezers in and it was hollow and here is another gymnocleseum I believe and it has mealybugs it's really sad I feel like I've neglected my plants this winter this was one of my favorite cactus it had two heads it was really really cool uh, you can tell though that by the discoloration of the top and the bottom the bottom got um, basically rotted so I was going to save it like I really was but they're squishy they're mushy not right so as you can tell I just lifted the cactus up it rotted it rotted and it is so creepy I'm <laughs> just saying look at how creepy that is um that's like the definition of rot it's mushy smushy it smelled there was stuff going on but those of you who like mushy gushy stuff go ahead and watch I'm thinking that maybe I could save the babies that it grew also maybe the top but it just didn't seem like I'm separating the joined twins right there um, just because I wanted to see like what I could save <laughs> it wasn't you know much felt like I was doing surgery and it didn't feel good to cut up my cactus trust me I know many of you are thinking you know how sad or this or that and I'm just like yeah I was pretty sad and it felt really weird cutting up a cactus And this is, as they say, Mexican fence post cactus. I found mealybug and some damage from scale on certain sides of the cactus, so I'm just cleaning it up and hopefully saving it. I'm starting to scrape off some remnants of mealybug or scale and I also feel like maybe I'm puncturing the cactus or hurting it but I heard that it's best to clean it off so that's what I did <laughs> 